really know. I, uh, I just. It was a normal day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I just uh playing around. Okay, you played around with friends or with family. Yes. Yes. Okay. With friends or family or both? Uh, both. Both. Okay, good. Okay. Let's see where we left off with your work. Okay. Oops. Okay. We finished all of this. We're now towards the end. Okay, we are, we did that. Okay, we, yes, answered the questions about her. Okay, now we have some words there. Can you read them for me? What is this? Uh, sore, floating wave surface, paddle splash. Paddle splash, good. Okay, number one. I hate going swimming with my brothers. They always what me? Mm, they are away. Yes, yeah, splash. Good, they always splash me. Okay. The east coast is no good for surfing because the what are too small. Mm, okay. The waves. Waves are too small. Good. Okay. Three. You need to lie on the surfboard and what with your hands? Uh. And, uh, paddle, sore. good. No, not surface. It's paddle. Yeah. This is paddle. Yeah, paddle. <clears throat> okay. We stood on the what and watched the go the boats go past. Uh. It's just a uh, surface. Not the surface. Uh, uh, floating. No, floating is if you drop something in water and it doesn't sink to the bottom. It stays on top and it sort of floats. Okay. There's one more word you haven't tried. Uh, sore. Shore. Shore. Yes, the shore. Here's the sea. Here's the shore. So it's the sand at the beach. It's called a seashore. Okay. Number five. An empty canoe was what down the river? Uh, was uh, floating down river. Good, was floating down the river. Okay, she accidentally dropped her phone into the river and watched it disappear below the... Uh, below the surface. Below the surface, good. Okay. Okay, so we read the story about the lady who lost her arm. Okay, student A, you are the interviewer. Prepare five questions for Bethany using the prompts below. 
Okay, student B. You are Bethany. Prepare your answers to the questions below using the information in the text and your own words. Okay, so what they want you to do there is here you have a question, but you need to unscramble it and correct it. It's it's uh, uh what do it's you... not it's not scrambled, but there are letters missing. So you need to fill in the gaps and create a proper sentence. Hmm. What do what was the weather like in a in a twenty twenty one? 31 October 2022. 2003. Okay, good. Well done. And then number two, what are you doing when shark attack? How do you make a sentence? What do, do you doing when, when the shark attack? Okay, it's not do. What were you doing? Okay, so it's what were you doing when the shark attacked? Okay, and number three. What is number three? How do you fix that? Uh, what, what does your friend do? Okay, what did your friends do? Okay, number four. How, impor how important surfing in your life before shark attack? How does... Wait. How important does the surfing in your life before the shark attack? Okay, was because it's past tense. It's in the past. So how important was surfing in your life before the shark attack? Okay. Number five. How important surfing in your life now? So we're talking about now. So we're going to use now words, not past tense words. Uh, how... How, uh, how important are surfing in your life now? Okay, is surfing in your life now? Good. You did well. Okay, what was the weather like on 31st October 2003? Good. Okay, everyday English. Talking about the past. Okay, so in the past, we use past tense words. Okay. Let's read here, Finley. Let's just see what it says here. Okay, so we're going to use these words over here to fill in over here. Then, yeah, to fill in over here and then we will do two and three. Let's listen to the audio first. Lesson 2F. Exercise 1. Hi, Amy. How was your weekend? It was good. I went to the cinema on Saturday. What did you see? The new Ben Stiller film. Cool. What did you do on Sunday? Nothing much. I stayed at home and revised. What about you? What did you get up to at the weekend? I went out with some friends on Saturday. Where did you go? To the skate park. No way. What about on Sunday? I played computer games at home. What did you play? Bioshock. It was great. Okay. So do you think you could finish those sentences? 
Hmm. No. Oh, I. I uh no, I feel it. Okay, so what goes here? Number one. Hi, Amy. How was your weekend? It was good. I went to the cinema on Saturday. Blank? Did you blank? What goes in by one and two? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I don't know. Okay, listen again. Lesson 2F. Exercise 1. <laughs> Hi, Amy. How was your weekend? It was good. I went to the cinema on Saturday. What did you see? The new Ben Stiller film. Cool. What did you do on Sunday? Nothing much. I stayed at home and revised. What about you? What did you get up to at the weekend? I went out with some friends on Saturday. Where did you go? To the skate park. No way! What about on Sunday? I played computer games at home. What did you play? Bioshock. It was great. OK. So now, number one and two over here. What words did they use? What did you go? No, they went to a cinema to watch a movie. So if you watch something, you say, what did you? Yeah. Uh, new film. C. Okay, and number three and four? Uh, what did you go? Okay, not what did you go? Where? Where did you go? Yes, okay. <laughs> now number five and six. I play computer games at home. Oh, uh, I... Oh, well, what did you play? Good. What did you play? Well done. Okay, we're going to listen to an audio of four teenagers talking about their weekend and answer the questions. Write Ella, Abby, Daisy, or Chloe. Okay, so somebody is going to make something. Somebody is going to celebrate something and have a party. Somebody broke something. And someone lost something. Lesson 2F. Exercises 4 and 5. Connor and Ella. Hi, Ella. How was your weekend? It was great. I played tennis on Saturday. That sounds fun. Who did you play with? My friend Sarah. Oh, right. Cool. Did you win? Yes, I did. But I also broke the tennis racket. Oh dear, that's bad. Was it expensive? I don't know. I didn't buy it. It was my sister's racket. Oops. <laughs> okay, who broke something? Uh, uh, Daisy. Daisy, okay. Let's see. Listen again. Lesson 2F. Exercises 4 and 5. Connor and Ella. Hi, Ella. How was your weekend? It was great. I played tennis on Saturday. That sounds fun. Who did you play with? My friend Sarah. Oh, right. Cool. Did you win? Yes, I did. But I also broke the tennis racket. Oh, dear. That's bad. Was it expensive? I don't know. I didn't buy it. It was my sister's racket. Oops. <laughs> Jack okay. and Abby. 
So we had Ella and Connor. Now we don't have Connor's name here. We only have Ella's. So what did Ella do? Uh, 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 broke the rocket. Good. So who broke something? It's Ella. Uh. Okay, let's listen for number two. Jack and Abby. Jack and Hi, Abby. Abby. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went to see a show with my family on Saturday. Then we went for a meal. Really? Great. Where did you go? <laughs> to a Chinese restaurant. There's a nice one in the town centre. That's interesting. Do you often go out for meals? No. But it was a special occasion. Really? What? It was my birthday. Oh, no. I forgot. Jacob okay. and... Okay. Who celebrated something? Uh, Abby. Abby, good. Okay, let's listen for the next one. Got. Jacob and Daisy. Hi, Daisy. How are you? I'm fine. What did you get up to at the weekend? On Saturday, I went to the cinema with Ben. Cool. What did you see? The new Jackie Chan film. Fantastic. I love Jackie Chan. Yes, it was great. But I left my phone in the cinema. Oh, no. Did you go back and find it? I went back, but it wasn't there. Oh, dear. Okay. Daniel and Chloe. So what did Daisy do? Uh, lost her phone on the cinema. Good. She lost her phone at the cinema. So Daisy lost something. Then let's listen to how Chloe made something. Yeah. <coughs> Daniel and Chloe. Hi, Chloe. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I cooked dinner for my family on Sunday. Oh, that's interesting. What did you make? Chicken and rice. And how was it? It was okay. The chicken was really nice, but the rice was hard. Oh, well. Everybody at it, though. But Dad wasn't very well the next morning. Mm. Okay, so Chloe made something and she also made her dad sick. Yeah. Okay. Can you read this here for me? Okay. When, when, uh... When you ask someone about what they did or what happened, ask follow-up question or more information to keep conversation go going. What a hey, what did you do well, last night? B, I really a friend. Uh, I again really do you did your phone. Good. So follow-up questions are more questions for a person, but similar to the last question you asked. So if I ask you, what did you have for supper, for dinner? And you told me you had chicken and rice. I'm not going to ask you, oh, did you see the pony? I'm going to ask you who made the chicken and rice. So I ask another question about your dinner. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. So those are follow-up questions. Okay, let me just get rid of the writing. 
Okay, so read the speaking strategy, then listen and complete the follow-up questions. Okay, so let's listen. Lesson 2F, exercises 4 and 5. Connor and Ella. Hi, Ella. How was your weekend? It was great. I played tennis on Saturday. That sounds fun. Who did you play with? My friend Sarah. Oh, right. Okay, number one. Oh, who, who did you play with? Who did you play with? Good. Number two. Sarah. Oh, right. Cool. Did you win? Did you win? Good. Yes, I did. But I also broke the tennis racket. Oh dear, that's bad. Was, was it expensive? I don't know. I didn't buy it. It was my sister's racket. Oops. <laughs> Jack and Abby. Hi, Abby. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went to see a show with my family on Saturday. Then we went for a meal. Really? Great. Where did you go? To a Chinese restaurant. What is number three? Uh, what did you go? Where did you go? Go Where is a you? place. Where tells you which place. What is for an object, but where is a place? Okay, where did you go? Good. There's a nice one in the town centre. That's interesting. Do you often go out for meals? No, but it was... Number four. Uh, do, you, do, you often go out for do you often go out for meals? Good. A special occasion. Really? What? It was my birthday. Oh no, I forgot. Jacob and Daisy. Hi Daisy, how are you? I'm fine. What did you get up to at the weekend? On Saturday. Okay, what is number five? Oh. Okay, sorry about that. We got disconnected. Okay. <coughs> Okay, I'm just waiting. My share screen is loading. Okay, can you see the screen now? Yes. Okay, good. Can you remember the answer for number five? Or must I play it again? Oh, uh, no. Okay, must I play the audio again? Hi, Daisy. How are you? I'm fine. What did you get up to at the weekend? On Saturday, I went to the cinema with Ben. Okay, what is number five? Okay. Can you see the screen yet? Oh, no. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Okay. So number five was what did you see? Oh. Cool. What did you see? The new Jackie Chan film. Fantastic. I love Jackie Chan. Yes, it was great. But I left my phone in the cinema. Oh, no. Did you go back and find it? I went back. Okay, what is number six? Uh, six is a... Uh, uh, did you go... Uh, did you... Go back? Uh, and find it. Good. And go back and uh, find it. But it wasn't there. Oh, dear. Daniel and Chloe. Hi, Chloe. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I cooked dinner for my family on Sunday. Oh, that's interesting. What did you make? Chicken and rice. And how was it? It was OK. OK, these two was right after one another. What did they say? Uh, uh, what did you make? What did you make? And number 